All right, yo, what's up, YouTube? Damn, it's been long since I actually recorded a video especially dedicated to YouTube. That's not actually a, a Twitch highlight. Jesus Christ. So, um, I wanted to make this. This video has been in the works pretty much since I started this account. I mean, yeah, I did. I, I know I switched up my team a little bit, right? But this is my free-to-play dom, right? We're back on free-to-play dom, and this is my Razer main account, right? And basically, that... Basically, my goal of this account, yeah, my goal, the, the thing I want to do on this account is to make the best team possible for Razer. I was thinking about, like, the possibilities and what I can do with Razer to make him really good, right? And physical Razer, right? Obviously, because that's, like, the only way you can build him, I think. I don't think anybody builds Electro, right? Nobody builds Electro Razer, right? Am I right? But anyway, um, so this video will be dedicated basically well it, it's not more of a dedication this video is more to show you guys and to ask you guys right whether this team will be viable late game or not right i'll be working towards this team this team is the team that i'm ideally wanna will be running for like late spiral of abyss now the problem with this team is i'll have to switch as a, a, a i'll have to switch out some characters right another problem is yes this is a free to play account however the characters you will see in the bottom right corner um yeah, let's just say I just got lucky, right? I just got lucky. However, I have a really good free-to-play alternative. Well, kind of free-to-play alternative, right? I just have alternatives. Let's call it that. Let's call it that. Because this game is a gacha, right? What what defines you as free-to-play? Not spending money, getting lucky, right? So, um, yeah. Without any further ado, I'm just going to showcase this team right now, right? You'll see I've got this team on right now. And um, just let me know... Uh, if you think this team is a good idea. Now, of course, I'm going to explain why I think this team will be good on Razer. Why uh, I'm running it on Razer. And, obviously, I'm going to be showcasing the power of it. Now, bear in mind, I am still working on it, right? Uh, I'm only AR-47. I only now started doing artifacts, right? Uh, I pretty much used all my fragile resin on Razer artifacts. And I got really unlucky. Um, and, yeah, I think that's about it. I think I'm actually... I'm good to go. Alright, so, this is the team... I am running on Razer. Now, obviously, okay, before I do this, let me stall again. Razer is a very selfish character, right? So I chose so I chose characters that I won't have to swap out to as much, but characters that will be able to support Razer with damage and elemental reactions, right? All right, so without any further ado, this is the team that I'm running on Razer. Now, stop. Wait a minute. Before you fucking tell me like, yo Dom, are you fucking stupid? This is free to play and you got a Chi Chi and a Ganyu. And a Ganyu with a 5 star weapon. Are you fucking crazy? I'm clicking off this video right now. Stop, stop, just stop, just stop. I've got alternatives, right? This isn't even the optimal team. This is even the optimal team. If I had the opportunity to switch out Ganyu for Diona, I would 100% do that. The reason being is Ganyu should have a dedicated team for her. She is not supposed to be a support for Razer, but I don't have no choices, right? Unfortunately, if you look at my roster, okay, roster, please, roster. If you look at my roster, um, I have got Chichi and Ganyu. I do not have a Diona. I do not have a Diona, which kind of sucks. It kind of hurts, right? And I also got a Kaya. So, right, so, if I could make this team better, I would say... Right, I would say uh, Razer and Xing Chou go perfectly together. Xing Chou is really good at supporting main DPSs. Now, obviously, Xing Chou is better for faster attacking characters, right? But, but, Xing Chou is really good at triggering freeze effects, which is actually nice with a Claymore user, especially physical Claymore user like Razer, that can shatter enemies, right? So, Xing Chou is a must have for this, for this, uh, for Razer, basically. And you will need, ideally, two Cryos in the team. Now, the reason why you want two cryers is, one, uh, cryo resonance. Cryo resonance states that if you attack a character that is either inflicted by cryo or is frozen, your crit rate is increased, right? And unfortunately, Razer hasn't got any crit rate built in him. So, if you look into my... If you look into my... Hold on, chill. If you look into my stats, right, I have to sacrifice a lot of crit damage to basically... At least get my razor to 50%. Now, of course, if you have better substats on your artifacts, if you've got more luck, because unfortunately, if you look at my artifacts, um, it's pain, right? It's pain. I rolled defense. I rolled, I rolled flat defense on this two times, or even three times. No, two times I'm lying. I rolled flat defense on this two times. Um, this is actually nice, right? 
this is actually not a bad one as well. Um, flat HP and flat attack on this one, very fucking sad. Uh, and yeah, and uh, this is really suboptimal, but it's a crit rate hat, right? So to recompensate for the lack of crit rate, having two cryos to not only trigger superconduct, which lowers enemies' physical resistance, which is perfect for Razor, a physical attacking unit, they can freeze, right? You will be able to freeze, which is another good op which is another with pretty much more damage because every time you freeze someone and you shatter with Razor, it deals additional physical damage, right? You will also be able to have the crit rate thanks to the two cryo uh, animal re uh, elemental resonance, which can boost your damage even higher, right? So I would say I wouldn't even need a crit rate hat with this team. I think um, having actually no, I might do because it doesn't give you forty percent. Sorry for my, uh, I apologize for my uh, ignorance, right? <laughs> Let's go into Elemental Resonance. So, increase crit rate against opponents that are frozen or affected by cryo by 15%. Yeah, exactly. So, you get a 15% extra crit rate with having two cryos together. Now, bear in mind, you don't really need that, right? If you get really good artifacts, if you get god rolls, in fact, right? And you can build out your razor properly. Maybe you get a better claymore. I don't know. Maybe you get a better claymore than a prototype that I've got on him. Yeah, maybe you can have a maybe you have a you have a claymore with actually like with crit rate or crit damage. Maybe you have the battle pass, um, not battle pass. Sorry, maybe you've got a uh, actually yeah. Whether you have the battle pass claymore or whether you have the the claymores that you can buy from the shop that provide you with either crit damage or crit rate, you will be able to. Well, you you could we will basically be able to run someone. Like, for example, Bennett instead of uh, Ganyu or Chichi, right? You'll be able to... You won't need uh, Cryo as much, right? But, for me personally, uh, I'm running two Cryos. Just for the sake of having that extra crit rate, right? Right, now I'm gonna test, I'm gonna test this combo on this big boy right now, right? And um, bear in mind, I also said this... Uh, as I said before, this team isn't optimal. If I had the choice to, what I would do is I would run... Maybe uh, if I had the Diona as a healer, I would definitely switch out Chi Chi for Kaya as a support to provide me with Cryo, and I would also and I would run uh, and I would run Diona instead of Ganyu as a shield slash uh, Cryo support slash healer because she's just amazing, right? So once again, this is just my idea. This is just um, me giving you guys the opportunity. I mean, I know there is a lot of uh, better potential units right but if i had the choice to use a really fun team that can constantly dish out damage uh, also bear in mind right also bear in mind um it's really good it's really good against single target enemies like this this team is really good against single target enemies and obviously as i said before it provides a lot of damage for a really selfish character like razor right so as you can see the combo was a cryo with Ganyu, slash with Razor to create superconduct, right? Which means it lowers their physical defense. Then I pop my ult with Chong Yun. Then I pop my orb with Chi Chi. And I could just go ham with Razor. Ult with Razor, ideally. And then you have a lot of damage, right? A lot of elemental reactions go in. You have a lot of. You constantly superconduct. You constantly shatter. You constantly freeze. It's just a nice. Um, it's just a nice build. If you have, you know, if you have, like, let's say, Spell of Abyss, where. You need a lot of single damage, single target damage. All right, another quick test. Let's see how fast he can take. We can take down this, uh, the Cyclops, Mr. Cyclops. Okay, dude, he's frozen. Damn, I haven't. Wait, I need to, uh, I need to super conduct, which I done already. All right, let's go like this. Let's go like this. Constantly freeze and constantly attack. I'm not even gonna use my ult. What I wanna do is, I just wanna constantly shatter. Just want to constantly shatter and attack. Shatter. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now imagine my Shang Yun. I mean, sorry. Now imagine my Shing Cho actually had damage on his uh, on his uh, <laughs> on his uh, ult, right? Imagine, because um, as you can see, as you can see, my Shing Cho has nothing. I have plus four artifacts on him. I don't have optimal artifacts as well. Because I haven't explored Dragon Spine yet, right? As I said, this is a premature video, but um, I'm just so excited about building this team that I can't wait. 
I can't wait to see how, how good it is. Alright, now let's see how good this team does against a group of enemies. Now, I hope Shinsho procs. He doesn't, which is Saj. Which is very Saj, actually. Let me just keep on dodging and wait till he gets his ult. Boom. Nice. So, so now it procs. All right, so now let's let's take a look at this team with the whole team just together, right? So we pop Chi Chi, uh, that was unfortunate, uh, and let's just go ham. I didn't mean to ult with Chi Chi. I meant to just use the skill. So we have a nice AO AOE of ice, right? Which of course you can't do that with anybody else apart from Ganyu, unfortunately. But. You should be good enough even with a Diona and a Kaya. Because um, that AoE that AoE isn't even necessary with Ganyu, right? That AoE that you saw right there isn't really necessary. You don't really need Ganyu to actually make Razor good. What you ideally want is someone like Kaya instead of Ganyu. That like, let's say uh, you can recharge his ult fast. So you can have that uh, aura of ice around Razor. Right, because as I said before, he's really um. There we go. Because as I said before, uh, Razor is really selfish. So to have someone that can put something that constantly rotates around him, like Kaya's ult, Shin Cho's ult, Chi Chi, is uh, really good and really beneficial, right? Because then you could have, uh, because then you can have Razor on the field constantly, right, without having to swap, because all the damage will be pretty much just there, like on. The, the whole combo will basically be on Razor, right? You have the ice, you have the water, and then you have the electricity from, obviously, him and his ult. Which is actually pretty nice, right? Alright, let's do this again, right? But this time... This time without, uh, <laughs> without Ganyu's ult, right? Just to see that... Just to show you, basically, that this is still viable, right? So just Chi Chi and Chong Yun. Actually, let me put Razor's ult. What am I doing? Just Chi Chi... Chi Chi's E, Chong Yun's ult, and you could just nicely go around and single damage DPS everybody. No problem all. Now I always use my sprints. That's a bad habit of bad ha bad habit of mine. Excuse me, fucking speak. But as you can see, uh, yeah, I really like this team. I'm really happy I built it. I'm really happy I thought about it. Now I'm not sure if this is like an original one. I'm pretty sure someone already done this before, right? Right. If I'm the first, that would be you know Pog, but. Um, unfortunately, I think that's that might not be the case. Now, I don't watch a lot of YouTube videos. I don't watch a lot of tutorials. So, I wouldn't know. Let me know if someone done it already on a larger scale. Someone actually built out these characters and tried them together on a team. I would love to see that. I would love to see the, biggest, the bigger potential, right? But what I'm here to say is, even though Electro is considered really underpowered, right? And even though Electro is a superconduct right as a elemental reaction is really downplayed because of um you know because pyro existing melt existing vaporize existing now geo is getting well now geo got buffed so now geo is really powerful it's really difficult to uh appreciate electro right but i'm just here to say that if you build a razor or you build any of these characters you can make them work right maybe not on a Maybe it would be difficult to make it work on a, uh, I don't know, Spiral Floor 12 scale when it comes to how much damage you can output. But, right. But, right. If you build this team, exactly this team, you'll be alright. You'll be alright. Just Ganyu herself can take care of a lot of stuff, even without Melt. If you build it correctly. Alright, now, well, <laughs> this wouldn't be a test without doing the infamous... Uh, the infamous uh, Ruin Guard fight, right? Now, before I even start the fight, right? Do I think I will be able to beat these guys? Uh, no. The reason being is, if they start doing the Spinner Roonies, it's pretty much game over, right? It's pretty much game over. But, okay, dude. Okay, dude. But, if I pop the ult, right? And if I do this, and then I do this again, right? And then I pop this, right? And then let's say I'm gonna do Chi Chi, pop her ult. Go Razor, 
slap down and just keep on attacking maybe just maybe right we can do it why because we can keep on healing because of chi chi's ult right we can keep on freezing because of everything that's going on we can keep on dodging if we're fucking amazing and pog now this guy started spinning so i'm pretty sure this is over right if that happens just try to snipe i guess jesus christ be careful not to tank uh, what the hell was that makes me think i'm blind all right well but at least everybody's uh Damn, everybody's ults are back up. I nearly died. Uh, this guy started spinning again. No, oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Yep, yep. Love to see it. You love to see it. You love to see it. Now, this is exactly why I hate this fight. This is exactly why I hate this fight. It wasn't that bad. Maybe if I had more damage to, you know, quickly take care of him. All right, dude. Maybe if I had more damage to quickly take care of him. Yep, yep. Jesus. Right, Chichi, help. I haven't got a Chichi build as well. But that's because I don't really want to. Because I will. Pretty, I think I will swap her out if uh, the first opportunity I get. Unfortunately. It's really sad to think so, but it might be the case. Might be the case. Xing Chou, evaporate. It wasn't as bad, but it was uh, as I predicted, right? So I would have been able to beat them if I had them perma frozen for a bit longer. The problem was, obviously, as I said, the Spinner Rooney's Razor is a close quarters combat character. Which, uh, <laughs> again, isn't really, isn't really uh, good against Ruin Hunters if they start spinning or loading the rockets. But if you have a Ganyu... You can always rock a Ganyu and just, you know, go back and just snipe. My sniper was really Pepega, so um, <laughs> so don't watch that. You're probably better than me. But yeah, uh, I think that's about it for the showcase. Now, I think that's everything I wanted to talk about. When it comes to the character's builds, right? When it comes to the character's builds and the way I want to build them, again, um, also depends on the characters that you would want to run. Maybe, you know, again, as I said before, switch out Chi Chi for, let's say, Diona as a healer and switch out... Ganyu as a for Kaya as support if you want to do so right then the builds will be completely different if you do have a Ganyu to rock in this team you would go for a DPS Ganyu of course if you would have a Kaya instead of Ganyu uh, Kaya instead of Ganyu you would run support support Kaya so you would want a lot of a lot of energy recharge so you can pop his ult to surround uh, Razor and again, Chi Chi and Diona, they're both healers, so you'd want the same build. Like, as much healing as possible, I'd guess. Um, Razor build, uh, again, Razor build would be probably two piece Glad and two piece uh, Bloodstained. Uh, I don't have good Glad pieces. So, unfortunately, I have to run four piece uh, Bloodstained, which is unoptimal. Unoptimal, but um, I would rather run good pieces. Then force a two set of glad with bad sub stats, if that makes sense. I think it's just more optimal to do this, unfortunately. Uh, Xing Chou, uh, Xing Chou, you build Xing Chou like you want to build him. Uh, DPS, okay, but um, the best build for me would be Noblesse, two piece Noblesse Oblige and two piece uh, Hydro set for extra damage. Um, best set, well, best sword, of course, Sacrificial Sword, which I actually got really lucky and pulled. I called that shit as well, which was very pog. Um, and you would want to build Xing Chou with energy recharge as well. Uh, how much energy recharge I've got? 180, at least 180 energy recharge, obviously, so you can you can bust down the ults as often as you can, so you can perma freeze with your main DPS, which is Razor. And I think that's about it, right? That's about it. So yeah, anyway, let me know if this is actually a really good idea. If this is a pog idea, let me know about the damage, how I can increase it, how I can optimize it. You know, just throw your ideas at me. Throw your ideas at me. Throw ways that I can make it better. Maybe if you if you believe I can swap a character out to make this team even better. I don't know. Maybe you feel like I don't need the crit rate and you want me to swap like let's say Chi Chi for example for Bennett, which will provide me with more damage and a higher boost, right? Um, I I could see where you're coming from, right? Uh, maybe there's other characters that are really that are much better. Just let me know, right? Just let me know. Just throw your ideas at me. Um, anyway, I think that will do it for the video. I just wanted to really give this idea out and 
see if people would actually like it you know this is not about big damage this is about having a different play style this is about trying different stuff right i know there is there's team comps there is there's fail proof team comps and characters that can pretty much solo floor 12 right i know that i just like playing games differently right this is as my second account right i play it much differently than i play my main account and i just want others to just enjoy the game for it is and you know just let people know that this is not a grind to have big numbers you're not racing anybody um you just sit back and enjoy the game and this is a team comp that i think would let you do that if you want to you know just make everything not move and take care take away a lot of mechanics <laughs> um anyway that will do it for the video. Now, I wish I could showcase more. I wish I could do more. But there's nothing really for else for me to show. Um, my team is not powerful enough to showcase this team in Spiral. I'm working on it, as I said before. And, uh, yeah. I think that will do... I think that will about do it, right? Oh, yeah. Sellout time. Um, <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. All of the good stuff, right? Uh, join me on Twitch. I stream every day, 3 p.m. UTC time. I am on the road to 50... Uh, followers that's all i really want right so i could get my emotes so i can get my uh polls so i can make my stream more interactive if you enjoy the content if you well if you like me as a person which uh, i don't blame me if you don't <laughs> i'm toxic <laughs> uh just come through uh just to chill out i just play some music i just sit back play the game and uh, answer all your questions answer all your queries uh just enjoy the time together right I would really appreciate it. I would appreciate it if you would have give me and you know give me a go and uh, see if you actually like me or not. And that's about it, right? Yep, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for you know actually listening. And yeah, that's about it. I'm out. Peace.